welcome to my channel how's everybody doing today in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you um my retirement plan and as you can see my investing vision board and this um sheet came out of mommy traders investing workbook so let me give you a little background welcome 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 if you're new here welcome if you're returning welcome back so i am happily married but i am on a solo journey to retire early and when i say retire early i just want to work from home i have a second career that i want to embark on and it will allow me to work remotely so i decided that i need to get my finances in order because it will be somewhat of a pay cut a um but the benefits you know will be better because i'll be able to work anywhere and so in order to do that, I started using the cash envelope system after my husband and I got out of debt using the Dave Ramsey um, baby steps. So now I'm trying to build wealth, um, build generational wealth for my grandchildren and I'm also trying to retire early. So that's why you see me doing financial videos, but this is a budgeting and lifestyle channel. So you will see lifestyle content on here as well. So I decided it was time for me to go ahead and update you guys on, um, you know, my progress as far as retiring. So that's just my plan, but we'll see what God says. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So first we're going to go over my investing vision board. And the first thing is my investing. Why am I investing? I'm investing, like I said, to retire early and to build generational wealth. I am invested in the stock market. Of course, I have a 403B at my job, but I have done some, you know, personal investing as well. I have a couple of stocks with, um, I have VTI and Verizon with M1 Finance, and I have Ford and AT&T with Wells Fargo. And I also have a Roth IRA, you know, and my husband has his investing things, but this, this journey is about myself. So yeah, so retire early and build generational wealth. And next is my, my investing affirmation. I'm just going to buy and hold. Any money that I put in the stock market, it is, it is money that I do not need right now. So yeah, that's, that's, that's my affirmation. I'm going to buy and hold. I don't know if this truly an affirmation, but I'm making it an affirmation today. My current investing portfolio balance, it's about 25K, kind of low because um, I'll link the video up above. As you, if you knew here, Ms. V made a lot of financial mistakes in the past. I mean, I'm just like everybody else. I got history. And so that's why, that's what brings me here. Um, I cashed out my investing, my um, retirement accounts twice. So I'm, I'm basically starting over. That's why it's only at 25K and some people probably... Like 25k, that's a good amount. Not not for my age, it's not. But I'm not gonna um be hard on myself. I'm just gonna keep going. I mean, I just started over. I just had to start over from the mistakes I made. That's what that's what I tell my children. You know, you can make the decision, but there's always gonna be consequences for your decision. So we all make mistakes. That's how we learn. And so yeah. So I'll say about 25k. Uh, my main focus, investing focus, is dividend stocks. And I'm still um, learning. So check out Mommy Trader. She just started a podcast. Go over and check her out. I'm enjoying the laid back content of her just talking about money because money is already stressful. So it's just good to be able to enjoy something that's not in a teaching mode. Even though we do need the education, you know, we need to learn. But it's, it's good to that she's able to relate and just talk to us about money because money is already stressful. So at some point we got to get relaxed at some point and be able to just talk about money without it being so stressful. So my investing goal, my short term one to three years, um, build the positions I currently have and uh, continue. Um, what I am going to do is um, I'm in the process of getting a pay raise at my part time job and I'm just going to increase my contributions every time I get a pay raise. That's what I'm going to do. And as you see here, I'm researching CDs. Mommy Trader just also did a video on that. I was already researching when her video popped up. Thank you. I guess that AI, that artificial intelligence, it knows what you're doing. So 
It knows what to recommend to you. So my investing goal long term is the same. Continue to build the portfolio with increasing the positions I currently have. And I'm also researching I-bonds as well. So we're going to push that up there. So yeah, I'm looking into moving some a small amount of money to I-bonds and a small amount of money to CDs. Because you know, because we had to start over. I need to have access to a lot of my money because remember I have five grandchildren. I have a lot of stuff going on. So I'm not at the point where a majority of my money can be, you know, put away where I don't have access to. It. So, yeah. So let's see what else we got on this investing vision board. And my investing goal, five plus years for retirement. I mean, to increase my contribution to my 403 bed. 403B and to max out my Roth IRA when I'm available this year, I was not able to contribute to the Roth IRA because I worked as a traveling respiratory therapist. And if you make over 144, you're not able to contribute. So that was a bummer. So I'll just put that money somewhere else. And my journey to the finish line, what step and ideals will I take to reach my goals? I'm going to continue to work as a traveling respiratory therapist for the extra income. And continue to be uh, disciplined with my budget. And of course, you know, I am a believer. I'm a Christian. So I'm going to continue to trust God. And my investing education, um, only investing books I've read was Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which was a great read because it gives you insight on being poor and being rich. So you take something from both types of dads. That was very interesting. And Mommy Trader is who I follow and Wall Street Trapper on Instagram. And I follow Mommy Trader, of course, on Instagram and YouTube. So those are my two inspirations as of this video. Well, I have a lot of inspiration, but these are the main two people that I go to for investing. Yeah. So that's it on my investing vision board. Stay tuned to see what my retirement plan consists of. Okay, on to my retirement plan. So this... Um, form I picked up from uh, um, Mommy Trader. She was giving them out as a free download. I'm not sure if they're free now. You can go check her channel out. I have her channel linked down below and it asks you your current age. I'm currently 51 years old and I would like to retire in 9 years at 60. So that's the plan. And next, retirement type. I don't have a retirement type because I mean I'm still going to be working. So I guess this like the barista. I, I can't remember because I was doing research on the fire movement, but I just didn't include that here. I did not include that here. And our dynamic would be my husband and I. Our children are grown and on their own and retirement goals. Probably the same thing I just did with my investing vision board. Well, sort of. So my desired monthly income will be 10 k because remember my husband would still be working. Desired yearly income, six figures. That's what I'm thinking. Even though I'm working remotely, so... That's the goal. Uh, retirement. I don't have a retirement number because I will not be doing your traditional retirement. When I say retirement, I'll just be working remotely. And current financial status, my total assets, I just say is my investment accounts and cars. I do count my car as an asset because it's valuable. I can sell it for money, so I count it as an asset. My liability right now is a mortgage, my mortgage. And my net, our net worth, I'll just say over 100K. Progress towards retirement number. I do not have a number. Retirement motivation. What is your why? To work remotely in my second career and, of course, to build generational wealth. I did not put that on here, but that's it. And build generational wealth. Let me put that on here. Hold on. Okay, that's my why. Where or whom do you draw inspiration from? Mommy Trader and Wall Street Trapper. And my past. <laughs> that's where I draw inspiration from. The past mistakes I made. And yeah, and just looking at my grandchildren and children. That's where I draw it from. So here's my retirement timeline. In 2023, by the end of 2023, we, we I'm going to say these things as though they are. We will be 
completely debt free, including our mortgage. By the end of 2024, we would have saved to purchase a new home. We're going to pay cash for the home. We're going to purchase a new home or either build a home by the end of 2024. Stay with me now. End of 2025, if we haven't saved enough to purchase a new home, we will finance a new home for 15 years and pay it off in five years. And by the end of 2026, we will have increased our investment portfolio. And this should be 2027, but I got 2026, but it's 2027. We're going to continue to build generational wealth. That's, I mean, that's basically it. And so our plan is once we pay this home off that we're in, I will, my youngest daughter will rent it out. She's presently paying $650 rent. I will let her rent it out for, it depends on how good we're doing at the time, $500 to $550. And that money, we will not even count it towards our income because I'll put it back in an escrow account because you know we're going to have to um, have money for repairs and then we also have to pay our own home owner's insurance um, and we also have to pay property tax. So by the time I'm gonna say the high. I'm gonna do the highest number. So if I let her rent it for five fifty times twelve, hold on a minute. So five fifty times twelve would be sixty six hundred dollars. Subtract um, homeowners insurance is about two thousand a year. Property tax is about three hundred a month. So I'm gonna say just subtract. You're just gonna subtract three thousand. Oh, not thirty thousand. Three thousand. The track three thousand. They'll leave us with like three thousand, but we still need to leave that in the bank. Um, you know, for any kind of repairs, the main thing will be that someone will be living in a home and taking care of it. Yeah, and so you know, our ultimate goal is to purchase more properties. We have what? Got five grandchildren. I got two daughters. That's seven and one stepson. So that's what eight. So we would like to have at least eight now nine homes that way we can send leave everybody a home the five grandchildren that'll be part of the generational wealth my two daughters even though my oldest daughter has her own house i still would like to leave her one is up to her what she do with it then my stepson he's he turned 19 in june so that's the goal to ultimately have nine homes yeah we're gonna do it keep watching miss v <clears throat> So, yeah, so that's the plan, plan of withdrawals. I don't really understand. I mean, I understand a little bit, but this is all I have right now. So the tax-free accounts will be my Roth IRA. Taxable accounts, accounts that have already been taxed. Um, my brokerage accounts, and then the tax-deferred accounts is 403B. Because that money goes in before we're taxed. So once I take it out, I got to pay the tax. So that's it. So that's what we got planned over here. Let me know in the comment section if you can relate to any of these things. I will link that video showing you the mistakes, the financial mistakes I made, and also some of the good things I've learned that I'm doing with my money as well. So we have to give ourselves grace. I mean, if we didn't, I mean, I didn't have all this education when I made those mistakes. That's not an excuse. That's just a fact. So I'm thankful for Mommy Trader and people like Wall Street Trap and all the other young ladies and men out here that are educating us. So, yeah, so that's it. So, that's what Miss V is doing over here. I'm going to always show you a way to say thank you and have a nice day.